Okay, getting ready to do a valve adjustment on this EMR6LY2A. And it's got a few thousand hours on it, I believe three or four thousand. And I just want to go over on why a valve adjustment is, is a very critical adjustment on a diesel engine especially. Well, what happens over time is as the valves obviously going up and down, wear, heat, is you get valve seat recession. And what normally happens, I, the, the, the main, the common myth is that valves loosen up. And that's normally not the case. They usually get tight because when you have valve recession, that valve is up in the head more and takes the clearance away. Now, I just brought number one cylinder up here. Uh, actually, yeah, our number one cylinder is over here. Okay, so I've got, I've got number six up. And the, the spec here is 0.1 millimeter on the intake and 0.5 millimeter on the exhaust. Okay, this is the intake, this is the exhaust on this specific cylinder here, number six. And um, the deal, which in the American stuff, that's going to be uh, four thousandths on the intake and 20 on the exhaust. Now, I have no clearance on the intake right now. See, I can barely move that. And I have some clearance. See, I didn't check it yet. But that's moving. Okay. So, see, I can't move that. Well, that's how you burn valves and cause damage. Because if that valve isn't seating or low compression, down on power a little bit. You know, that, that valve is not completely seated against its seat right now. So, and obviously with the uh, intakes being at four, they're going to be more uh, susceptible to needing an adjustment or, or a problem than the 20,000s on the exhaust. But usually the exhaust is a lot higher uh, or, or a bigger spec is because of all the extra heat. So uh, we're going to go ahead and run the valves on this thing. That's basically what a diesel engine tune-up is, is we'll run the valves and um, put the valve cover back on and then we'll stick her back on the boat.